Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Michael. I like wizards, dragons, making games, and when my audio is working correctly, I really hope the levels are fine today. And welcome back to making a tower defense game in Game Maker Studio 2. In 3D. So, I was going to do game balance today, and then I decided that, among other things, I, I should probably clean up my code a little bit, finally, since I've been sort of putting that off for a long time. And uh, that'll just make it easier for me in general going forward between things like balance and between just everything else that I try to do with this in the next uh, in the next couple weeks. So, uh, the first order of business is going to be one that I've been complaining about for a long time, which is the fact that this entity's code source file is 700 lines long now. And it's mostly, um, <clears throat> it, it's everything that you see in the game. Uh, you have uh, entities, as I've named them which are just uh, anything that you see in the world. You have bullets, which are obviously projectiles from towers. Uh, you have the towers themselves. You have uh, certain special foe types, which, are with, with, which have certain special attributes. I am going to just break this up into multiple scripts. Let's see. Uh, gameplay, game entity stuff. Um, we can create ourselves a new script file. Let's call this... Should I call it like Entity Tower, which is what I started doing? Yeah, that'll that'll do. And we can just separate out all of the tower types into here. This is still going to be quite long. This is still going to be 275 lines long, but it's better than it's better than 715 or 716 or whatever it used to be. Um, next, Entity Bullet is another type. And those are going to be the tower projectiles, of which there are quite a few types of. Um, that's going to be 159 lines. Fascinating. And 158 if we get rid of the empty space at the top. Uh, what's, what's the other one? Foe types. Entity foe. And that's going to be these two down here. And, okay, I think that's, uh, I think that is it for now. Any free, any free hanging lines at the top of the script? No, there are not. Um, <clears throat> save that. I can close these windows now. So this is just the, um, this is just the base class, sort of. The base class and the, the environment entity, which is just the tree objects and stuff. Um, these don't do anything especially interesting. Most of this is here for the sake of the, like, the game editor which is uh, something that I am pretty happy to just forget exists now. Let me run the game just to make sure everything still works. I see no reason why it would not. And indeed, we've got the game running. If I were to build a fire tower, for example, um, and, and send some things through, it's going to behave the same as before. Uh, I have not changed any code. I have just changed where the code is stored. That's okay. And we can go and make that a commit. I've been editing out myself uh, writing commit messages in recent videos just because it shaves off five seconds about maybe five times a video and, and that adds up to like 30 seconds saved over the course of an entire video. That's pretty insignificant, honestly. Anyway, so that's out of the way. The uh, The other thing I want to do, the, uh, the main thing I want to do here is... Let's see, I want to draw health bars. Uh, for the foes, so that you can see how much HP they have, how much damage they're taking, if they're taking damage, if they have other uh, effects going on, like poison or whatever. I'm kind of overdue for doing this. I probably should have done this a long time ago. Um, they're not going to be fancy. They're not going to be, like, a meter that shows you exactly how much HP and, like, numbers and text and stuff. It's just going to be a rectangle so that you can roughly see, like, full health, half health, quarter health, whatever. I'm curiously how gracefully I can cover up that cut in the video. Okay, so full health bars. So there's a couple ways you could do this. You could you could um, draw the foe health bars in actual 3D space um, above, above the foe's heads. You could draw the foe's health bars in um, in screen space uh, if you were to sort of defer it and uh, project the uh, the foe's coordinates in world space onto the screen and draw the health bar in the UI layer. That would cause health bars and, and other UI in, in the game to uh, to be drawn on top of things like towers or trees or other things that might be in front of the object. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to go and um, draw health bars for uh, the foes and stuff in um, in world space. And 
let's see. Uh, I, I'm just going to do that here in the render function. I'm not going to exactly do it here, but to set it up and to, to see what it looks like, I'm going to do it in the render function. Um, I'm just going to create a basic shader. I was going to use a billboard shader for this, and then there were some problems with that that happened, hence the 20 minute cut in the video. And then I decided that that was kind of probably overkill anyway. Uh, so instead, I'll just do it in a regular transform space above the foe's head shader. Um, hang on, do I already have... Uh, does shader pass through already do what I want it to? I want it to basically not do anything and just translate the position in... Um, oops, don't move. Uh, translate the position in... Um, in world space directly. Put it on the screen exactly where you think it is and do a minimal amount of, of other stuff at the end. So I'm just going to uh, leave shader pass through for this. Um, shader reset when you're done. And we can just draw ourselves a, a rectangle. Let's see. Uh, let me make a sprite. That's a script. It has been zero days since the number of uh, asset types in Game Maker that start with the letter S have screwed me over. That is a problem that I have heard exactly zero people besides me complaining about, and yet it, it just gets me every time. Uh, SPR health bar or something like that. That'll that'll do. And it can be like 64 by 16 or something. I don't care about the exact size. Like, I cannot possibly be the only person who looks at this list and says, script, sequence, shader, sound, sprite, tile set has an S in it, although it doesn't start with it, which doesn't help. And, and doesn't get immensely confused by, by what they're looking at. I don't use sequences, I rarely use sounds. I, I would use sounds more often if I ever actually finished anything. Um, I use shaders, sprites, and scripts quite a lot. And every time, it doesn't matter which one I click on that I'm, or which one I'm looking for, I always click on the wrong one. If, do I want a sprite? I create a sequence instead. Do I want a script? I create a shader instead. It's, it's a little weird. All right, but anyway, I'm just going to draw myself a rectangle. This is going to be a filled rectangle. It's going to be a rounded rectangle with, I think, a radius of, like, four uh, should do. Is, not, is that not the, uh, the radius of a rounded rectangle? I thought it was. Um. Hmm. All right, well, we can do this ourselves, then. Um, I can just create a rectangle and erase the corners like this. My my level of skill for drawing UI objects is marginally better than my my level of skill for uh. We'll give the background an outline too for for making three D models for towers in this game. I believe uh, Kenny, the guy who the guy who made all the other free 3D models for like trees and stuff, I believe he also made a tower defense set of sorts. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. I should probably look into it to see what they are and if they're models that I can use for this said tower defense game. Anyway, we have SPR underscore health bar. It is composed of two parts. It is composed of the um, um, the background and the actual health bar itself. That's fine. So we can we can draw this. I will say matrix set and yeah, uh, matrix set, matrix world, matrix build. Uh, the transform is going to be position dot x, position dot y, position dot z. Uh, no rotation, no scaling. Actually, if I wanted to, I could. Uh, build in the scaling. No, I'm not. I'm not going to mess with scaling. Uh, it's also going to be... Well, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Uh, I'm going to center the uh, the sprite origin here. The sprite origin here is going to be middle center. Uh, and then we will say... We can uh, we can matrix reset at the bottom here. Uh, draw sprite. SPR health bar. Uh, some image zero. Uh, X, Y is going to be 0, 0 in the room because we are doing the transform over here with the matrices. Um, and then we can do it again uh, for some image 1, and that's going to be the filled part of the health bar. This is going to fight. Uh, this is going to create some Z fighting. I will turn off, like, depth testing or whatever later. 
Well, maybe maybe I won't. I'll turn off uh, depth writing for for the, uh, the health bar background, and we are not actually appearing on the screen. And I think I know why that is because this is one of the things that turned out to be a bit of a problem when I was trying to billboard it, uh, and then I undid it because I I ended up not doing that, not billboarding it. But the uh, the depth for instances is um is set to zero, and there are sort of some issues. Uh, that happened in Game Maker when you try to draw stuff in 3D space on a layer that has a depth other than zero. Uh, it's very annoying. I can see now uh, they are indeed they are indeed being drawn. I will need to billboard it though uh, because I, I realize now they're um, yeah they're they're actually not rotating rotating to face me, which I want them to do. Okay, well first off, um, let me. Apparently, I updated a bunch of uh, objects that use sprites because uh, Game Maker had a, a beta update this morning, and um, I guess I guess some um, object settings were were edited. Um, I'm just going to commit this added health bar, and then I'm going to uh, commit this set room instance layer depth to zero. Control enter, by the way, is uh, is basically the same thing as clicking the commit to master button. In case nobody's, in case anybody's wondering why I'm not actually clicking that, and this is still a work in progress, so I'll I'll worry about that later. Okay, the um, billboarding, fun. All right, I I will work through issues that that arose uh, when I was when I was doing stuff with billboarding earlier. Uh, let me go and create a shader. See see how long I have to. I have to spend to figure out which one of those options I want to click on. I hate it. Shader, full board. Petition to Yo-Yo Games to change the names of these resources to something else because it drives me mad. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste this out of the out of the tutorial project that I made for it uh, back in what September because uh, I've already written this code. This is kind of like using using someone else's library to um to do this code. Um, I did that a couple times back in the beginning, and I am definitely going to do it a couple times towards the end for other purposes. This is not actually being used, is it? Instead of using shader pass through, shader billboard is what I want. Specifically, the issues with um, the issue, the issues with depth in Game Maker and 3D is when you're trying to use the built-in draw sprite functions and and that sort of thing. And you can see they are now um, they are now appearing where they should be. They are centered upon the the bottom middle of the ant, which is kind of where the object origin is in the world. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, there's a whole process involved when you say draw sprite, and it involves taking a bunch of things into account. It involves things like the draw settings, like draw set color and draw set alpha and stuff. Um, it involves the um, some of the like transform data, uh, which you which you have when you're drawing, such as the depth of each layer. Um, the depth of the object that's drawing it, and it is just there. There's a lot more to to draw sprite than you would expect when you first uh, when you first start using Game Maker. Um, it's actually very interesting if you're interested in the exact process of how stuff ends up on the screen. Anyway, this is more or less working. Uh, I can I can raise it off the ground a little bit, and the health bars will no longer appear to be in the floor. And uh, they will instead, uh, they'll still be Z fighting with themselves, but they'll be maybe not above the end's head. Okay, maybe we need to raise that a little more. Forgetting how big these objects are. They're also a little bit big in the world, so I might make the sprite itself smaller, but... Let's see. Yep, that's that's reasonably above your head. That, that'll do it for a health bar. Um, let's see, I will make this commit to say that I, I added the billboard shader. Not sure if I have to credit myself or not, since I'm since I'm using external code for that. If you want to see the video for the billboard shader, uh, I will have a link in the description. I will have a card popping out of the screen. You can go and click on that and, and see how these matrices are working, or in some cases not working. I can also get rid of that comment. Who needs comments? Not me, certainly not. I have very few comments in this code. I should probably probably document this at some point, but. Maybe that'll be the subject of the next video, just writing comments. 
then they'll be outdated pretty pretty quickly, which is um, not ideal. Anyway, so to get rid of the fighting, uh, we can we can use two lines of code: uh, GPU set Z right enable, and we're gonna set that to false uh, when we draw the background health bar, and we can set it back to not false. We're just gonna set it to true. Um, before we draw the, uh, the part of the health bar that should appear over that. So this is just going to cause the, um, the background part of the health, health bar to have zero depth information. And that's going to, um, that's going to, that's going to cause like the foreground, I guess you can call it, of the health bar to not attempt to fight with it. Um, that's going to get rid of the Z fighting issue. This is again, as I said, probably not ideal because we're constantly changing settings. Um, setting the setting the world matrix is bad enough, but when you're also setting the shader for every single enemy that walks by, it, it starts to get a little bit excessive. Um, I am going to shrink this into like I think half because it's bigger than I thought it would be. Let me scale it to thirty-two by eight, and let's see. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of surgery on the sprite. Um. Draw a couple lines here, there, and there, and there, and just delete the last corner. And that should be uh that should be a little bit a little bit tamer. The sprite origin is still middle center because it's the uh the sprite origin settings in Game Maker Studio 2 are very nice and you don't have to like guess the way that you might have in the past. Uh what is that? That is There are like, can I pause this? There are four white-ish pixels around the corners. I'm not sure what's causing that. I think I know what's causing that. Oh no, it's discarding. The uh, this this version of the billboard shader discards. Um. Oh, okay. I see what it is. It's uh, the way they're overlapping. The way that these. Can, if I can turn on, turn on onion skins. Um, the way these two um. Sprites are overlapping. So, there's like a pixel in each of the corners that you can see through the uh, the green health bar. If I were to shrink this just a little bit more, all right, that's much better than having actually something wrong with the actual drawing code. Uh, it's a it's a simple artistic, simple artistic issue. So we have health bars. Um, they're being drawn for every enemy on the screen. If I were to send in every wave. It's actually not affecting the frame rate as badly as I thought it would. I, I feel like most of the slowdown here is coming from the fact that there's now about 400 enemies on the screen and not the fact that they're drawing the um, drawing this in addition. If I'm going to benchmark this, I'm going to um, I'm going to do optimization for this for this game later. Uh, but this is looking like it's about 120 FPS underscore real on average. If I were to uh, if I were to comment out this here that's uh that's drawing the the health bar code is that going to affect it much i hope it doesn't obviously this isn't going to be the final code here either way uh let's send it everybody that should be that should be good and let's see what the uh the fps underscore real dips down to now fps underscore real is kind of not the best indicator of performance when it comes to 3d games because there are things that affect performance in 3d and game maker that is not reflected in that. It looks like it's uh, about 130 now on average instead of um, instead of 120-ish. So this doesn't actually affect performance as much as I thought it would because of all the shenanigans involving setting the matrix again and setting uh, Z right enable again and all that. Anyway, we can uh, we can we can commit this. Health bars are drawn, and now we can look to cleaning this up a little bit. In the um, in the game's render loop down here, this is another one that I probably should break up into multiple script files, except that's going to be a little hard because this is all one constructor. Uh, this is like one super object that does a bunch of things. But let's see. In render, uh, over, I believe, God, where is it? All entities dot render. Uh, we can, we can, we can loop through another one. I believe all foes is also a list, right? That's that exists in the game. Um, all foes, yeah. So we can loop through all foes, and and uh, call another method that we may call something like render health bars. Uh, all foes 
and we can call render health bars instead. Let's do this. And let's see, where are we? I am going to go into entity foe, separate this into a uh, another function. And we're just going to kind of copy and paste a bunch of things. And let's see, we still need the, uh, we still need the matrix set identity. We still need uh, that there. We don't need all this other stuff here. Um, this should, this should cause the same thing to happen. It's just going to ha cause it to happen in a slight, slightly different place. Uh, there is render health bars. Should be singular, not plural. Uh, there is one more thing I will do involving like when when some of these properties are getting set. Um, although I guess to be honest, it doesn't matter because if you're setting the world matrix, you might as well be setting every every single other property in the um, in the draw state. Uh, I won't worry about that for now. But everything is streaming in. Okay. Uh, if I were to pause again. It looks like it looks like the FPS reel has not really been affected. It's still about 120. Okay, that's fine. There is more drawing happening. But anyway, this is um. Even if it probably won't change anything, I will shader set and shader reset out of this loop. Actually, you know what? No, I won't. I will talk about that when I make the video an optimization because there are, I uh, there are a lot of optimizations to be done here, and I want to talk about them all at the same time. Um, render health bars after the main um, foe render. The other issue that that would have happened when it came to uh, when it came to drawing the health bars inside the main render um, render method here is that resetting the shader would have I believe caused the um, the lighting uniforms to have to be set again which would have been another another like issue when it comes to performance. So, this is all looking very crowded. Uh, we need to actually draw the health bar now. So I can say, let's see. Instead of just drawing the entire sprite, uh, we can say draw sprite, I believe part. Draw sprite, draw sprite part, that's a nice function. And this, uh, this takes a couple more arguments. It takes the sprite, the subimage, the X position, and the Y position as you might expect. But it also takes a, uh, a left, position, a, uh, a, a top position, a width and a height, and I'm going to need more than that. Okay, we'll do the, we'll do draw sprite general. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Wait, I have an idea. I just, I just thought of this now. I have an idea, but using nine slices for this could be interesting. Um, if I were to find the health bar sprite again and slice it up, uh, we'll look at this one instead. If I were to slice this up and have it used as a nine slice, I could instead of having to uh, instead of having to draw the um like draw the portion of the health bar myself and stretch the health bar myself, I could just have the uh, the nine slice code do it for me, and then I could just say draw sprite draw sprite stretched, and um I think then I think then it would it would work. Let's see. So draw sprite stretched should be interesting. Uh, we have the X, the Y, the width, and the height. This is not going to take the sprite origin into account, I don't believe. So we're going to have to var like WWs, what I usually use to, to indicate like a width variable sprite. Get width of uh, SPR underscore health bar of our HH equals the same for height. And these are going to be, have to be divided by two since the sprite origin is in the middle and we want to remember that. Uh, and the position at which we draw this can be um, negative WW, uh, negative HH. Okay, I won't, I won't divide by two here. I will divide by two there. Uh, the width and the height can be WW times, I'm gonna call it F. That's gonna be the fraction of the health bar that we're gonna draw. I will define that in a moment. And the height is going to be HH, because that's the height of the health bar. Uh, for now, we can say F equals 1. Uh, this can be if you're at full health, and this will cause the health bars to be drawn in their entirety. 
Um, if you want later, this is not drawing things in the correct position. Probably because, probably because, probably because, because shaders. Oh, you know what? I think I am very stupid. I think, am I, am I drawing the wrong one? I am drawing the wrong one. I was drawing the, uh, um, God, I, I was drawing the background twice. All right, this should work. Okay. The correct solution is usually the simplest. I wish, I wish the correct solution was usually the simplest. Did I, uh, did I delete the code where I was drawing the actual background? I think I deleted the, the draw sprite for the actual. Okay. I'm a little, a little out of it right now. So this should draw, uh, again, back in business, this should draw exactly what we started with. Um, assuming my, my mental math for these positions is, is, is correct. Uh, we can... <laughs> Every single... I don't, I don't know where these are coming from. Like, I'm commenting out, I guess I'm commenting out, I probably copied and pasted something somewhere, and then the error just got propagated into all kinds of weird places, but... Um... Alright. Gonna give myself a stern talking to about paying attention after this. Now that we're drawing the right things, um, so is that actually taking the Sparta Origin into account? Would I want to, uh, would I want to actually do something more like this? Is this actually taking the Sparta Origin into account? I didn't think Draw Sprite Stretch did. Um, well, I guess it is. Okay, that makes my job so much easier. Wow, you just, you really sat through me, you, you, you really just watched me just tripping over my own feet for like five minutes without a break there. And uh, anyway, as I was trying to say, if I set F to 0 0.5, this is okay. This is going to cause the, um, the sprite to shrink towards the middle. Okay. Uh, straw sprite stretch takes takes the sprite origin into account. I did not notice that. To be fair, I, I don't often use the sprite origin um, because I'm used to it messing me up in, in weird and exciting ways. But... I did not know that. I thought draw sprite stretch ignored it. Maybe it's draw sprite general that ignores it. Anyway, uh, if I if I put a an expression such as that into the um, the x position, the x uh, parameter for for drawing these. Uh, we should be adjusting it towards uh, towards the uh, the left, so sort of left aligning it. Um, this is just this is just math. This is giving it a nudge in the opposite direction, uh, so like half a health bar towards the uh, towards the left. And you can see that's more or less what it is. Um, that's more or less correct. If I were to set it to zero point seven five, uh, the health bar would be about three quarters full. If I were to set it to um, zero point two five. It would be it would be something else. Um, I see you. Uh, yes, you indeed are are mostly full on health. That's that's cool. I'm continuing to try and move around with WASD, even though um, the game has been closed, and now I'm just typing into the code editor. So uh, F is now hard coded this fractional value. This can just be, I believe, self HP over self HP max or something. HP and HP max. Um, all right, I, I don't need self here. I don't need the uh, the self keyword here. It's implicit. It's it's making my code more verbose than it has to be. And more importantly, I'm not using it in most of the other uh, places in this code. So now if I were to run the game, this um, these health bars would reflect how much HP I actually have, which is definitely what I want. Um, they might be a little bit meaningless when they're at low HP. They might look sort of like, like they have no HP and before they take a couple of hits. Uh, you can see those bars are going down. If I were to set up poison here, you would see that the health bar is, is uh, shrinking. And again, it's it's like sort of going into the negative because of the uh, because of the offset of um the way that the uh, the second frame here is offset. And with that in mind, I might just uh, instead of trying to code around that, 
I think uh, SPR health bar fill is going to be just a new sprite. Uh, I can I can control D duplicate this right, and then we can delete this sprite frame. Yes, please. And then I can delete the first sprite frame. Yes, please. And auto trim is fine. And instead of drawing the um, instead of drawing the same sprite with different sub images, uh, we can draw the uh, the filled part of the sprite instead. And that might look a little bit better because there's no um the uh, the, the the width of the actual bar is the same as the width of the actual spray and will not be causing issues. Okay, so we can send you in and something's not quite right. Is the sprite origin in the in the right place? Oh, I am using the width and the height of the other one, aren't I? All right. Got to use the width and the height of the correct health bar, and uh, and then we should do it. So there's going to be one more thing I'm going to do. I could draw an icon to indicate if something is on fire or being poisoned or slowed or something like that. Um, that is not terrible. It's still only drawing like half of it though. Why are you only drawing half of the half of the health bar? Like. You're only drawing the bottom, the, the top half of the sprite, the first two pixels of the sprite. Why is that? Oh, you know what it is? Is, um, okay, the, the nine slice settings for the sprite. We're attempting to basically set the middle slice to be of zero area. And that was because of the dimensions in the, um, in the old version with, with SPR underscore health bar with uh, the full version. Um, that, that you would want to be sliced like that. Although I guess I don't need that now either. So I can, uh, drag those little guidelines back to the sides and cause it to be sliced more nicely. But that, that would have been the way that Game Maker tries to draw nine slices. Um, not, uh, not, not helping. All right. So now we have the full health bar. If I were to draw a fire tower, for example, you could see that you're taking damage and you're taking fire damage over time. And we still have, um... We still have zero. We still well, we still have the bar going slightly into the negative, um, and I can I can sort of cheat. Uh, the fraction is is going to be the maximum value of either that fraction or like zero point one two five or one eighth. Uh, so we won't ever draw less than an eighth of the health bar. Um, that will be more aesthetically pleasing. It might feel better to the player as well, or at least to some people in their opinion, if the um, if it feels like the the health bar like sort of freezes at the last second, and then you have to like deliver one more hit before the thing dies. Uh, that is a uh, very much a a game feel thing. I am going to do it for technical reasons, though. Anyway, we now have enemy health bars. Uh, other other UI elements uh, may be things such as indicating that you're poisoned and I'm going to do that now let's see actually wait let me let me make a commit let me not do too many things at the same time uh, health bars decrease as you take damage uh, very nice in a lot of ways it doesn't make sense to draw the health bar if your current HP is a hundred percent it'll just clutter up the screen it'll just be extra drawing that the game is having to do for no reason and performance uh, so we can say if f is less than 1, then do all this. Otherwise, don't do all this and just uh, don't draw anything. If you want to um, if you want to really push it, uh, you might say if f is less than 0 0.9, and that way the health bar won't be, won't be drawn unless you're at lower than 90%. But I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll just say if, uh, if you're at full health, don't draw the health bar, and um, the screen will be a little bit less cluttered. So here we have... Here we have you. Uh, you are taking damage and your health bars appear. That is good. Uh, that is what I want. That is actually what this looked like in my head before I sat down to record this. Don't... Don't draw the health bars if you're at 100%. And... Okay, other status. I'm going to put this in its own group. Uh, poison. Let me draw a poison sprite. This is going to look real bad, I promise. But let me draw a poison sprite. 
okay, I now have three icons for the different statuses that you can have in this game. There's burn, which is like the worst fire ever. There's poison, which is a generic magenta droplet. And there's slow, which is like, I guess, glue? Again, I need to actually think about art design in this game. The uh, the Kenny assets look look fine. The the trees and stuff and the flowers and whatever, those look fine. Everything else in the game looks awful. Um, I've mentioned this a couple times, but someone at some point also pointed out that like the skybox doesn't really match the, the rest of the visuals, and it doesn't. I used that mainly because it was like the skybox graphic that I had on hand, and it was um, found on open game art, so it should be fine to just use in a game. Later on, I'm gonna interrogate a few friends about art direction, which is a thing that I know nothing about, clearly. So, uh, we... We can draw these. Uh, we can... One, I'm going to set Z right enable to true, like, after all this is done. Um, the, uh... In fact, I'm going to, like, group that specifically with, um... Specifically with shader set and shader, shader reset down here. Uh, matrix set is fine, that, that's gonna happen. Uh, that's actually relevant to the thing that's being drawn since it's positioning it in space, but um, the shader and the, the Z writing are, are kind of like scaffolding formalities. Um, we can look at we can look at the statuses that we have. Uh, if we are status burn, status poison, and status slow, uh, we can we can draw these. And if uh, status poison. Uh, we can draw sprites. Uh, we can draw that like a little bit, a little bit up. So I think that would be like uh, SPR status poison sub image zero. Uh, the X can be zero. The Y can be like an additional negative sixteen or so. Uh, if status burn, uh, we can draw the burn icon. And we can draw that a little, a little over. You are uh, 16 pixels wide, so let's space you out by 32. Same height, and then status, slow. And I'm gonna be building towers so that we can see where everything is. Um, you can be negative 32 or so. I will space these out a little bit more nicely once I, once I see that it's working in the game. Uh, we can let's let's toss some poison on you. Let us also set you on fire. And okay, those are actually big. I don't have enough money yet. Now I have enough money. Uh, you can see uh, the uh, the statuses are appearing. Okay. Um, I don't want to shrink them with a, like draw sprite scaled or with a, a matrix because pixel density, but those are a little big. I may actually make the sprites themselves smaller. Uh, the last one is flypaper dispenser. If I were to, oh, they, uh, I see. We do kind of care about death because while, while they shouldn't be drawn on top of, 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 um. Hmm. What do I need? 40 gold to, to build this thing? Whatever. 36. There we go. Uh, what happens when I layer all of your status effects together? I can't tell because you're dying too quickly. Let's see if I can inflict them all on a grasshopper. Yeah, okay, so you saw briefly that, that they were all there. Um, one, let's put them a little closer together. Two, um, I think I would like them to stack on each other, so... Uh, for example, I will draw instead, actually, x, x, and equal. You'll see what this means in a minute. Um, these can be drawn aligned to the left of the, uh, the health bar. And... For each... For each icon that we draw, uh, we can shift the position over 16 pixels. And this should cause them to sort of stack on top of each other. Uh, again, doesn't solve the problem that the icons are kind of too big, but we'll solve the problem of the icons being kind of too big later. Um, it may be worth sh uh, scaling them down and drawing them with a uh, with a higher pixel density later, but uh, we'll uh, once we once we pick up um, forty gold, we can build a flypaper tower. 
uh, we'll, uh, you can see they are stacking on top of each other like that. We'll work about, work, we'll work out aesthetic later. Um, I don't want the UI to be too big. I don't want these, um, uh, I don't want the health bars to be too big, but there's, uh, there's work to be done on this front. So what I mean about pixel density though is, uh, you can see like the, the UI on the side, that's not pixel art or anything. Nothing in this game is pixel art. Um, it's all either varying degrees of low poly, such as the, the trees and stuff. And I want to, I want to shoot for this as the visual style. Uh, the UI is very clean. Um, it's a nicely aliased, uh, not like not bitmap, not pixel fonts. I guess there are technically bitmap fonts because everything in Game Maker is a bitmap font, but you get what I mean. Meanwhile, the health bars are pixel fonts, and I don't like the way that that's being mixed together. I think the best way to, to deal with that would be to um, scale them down. If I were to like back up, you can see that the um, the pixels, the individual pixels in here get bigger or smaller, and I prefer that they are on the side of smaller. So if the um, if the health bar sprite was instead of what is it, thirty two by eight, if it was if it was instead like one twenty eight by thirty two and scaled down to uh, to a quarter size, then the edges would be much rounder. You wouldn't be able to see the individual pixels, and I think it would look better. Um, this video has gone on longer than I thought it would. How much do I want to get into this? All right, let me let me start by let me start by making these these bigger images, sixty four by sixty four, and and drawing them a little bit. They're gonna look just as ugly, but you won't be able to see the pixels. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, everything is four times bigger. That took a couple minutes. Ugh. I am um, uh, my my skills with pixel art are so lacking right now. Uh, things are gonna be very big. If I were to Set you on fire, yeah. You, that those those icons are pretty big, but they uh you you can see that they have more pixels pixels in them. Uh, we can scale those. I can probably close the shader now. We can scale these down. Um, draw a sprite stretched. This should just be a matter of uh matrix build. Uh, the position can initially. Uh, the position can initially be zero. Did I create a breakpoint? Oh no, that's an error message. Uh, the position can initially be zero. Rotation is going to be zero. Scale can be one quarter. Uh, transforms matrix multiply, and this can take the initial transform. Uh, it can take a new matrix. And the new matrix can be just basically composed of this. And lastly, matrix set. Like that. And this should adequately scale everything down, I think. I'm not entirely sure how um, how that's going to play with, uh, with all of these. Because of the way that uh, Game Maker pushes vertices onto the internal vertex buffer when you say draw a sprite. But we can start with this, and uh, just as we go, there shouldn't be too much left to do, I don't think. Uh, okay, so the sprite is very, very stretched in one direction. Am I transforming you correctly? Do I want to actually, like, include any Y or Z scale? I think I want to include Y scale. That's not the specific way I envision this going wrong, admittedly. Okay, now it's it, it's still full size. They are still being drawn full size all of a sudden when I set the Z scale to, to 1. I don't know why that would have affected the whole thing. Matrix multiplication is weird. All right, that that does it horizontally. They're still the same same uh, vertical scale. I mean that 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 set their horizontal size correctly. They're still the same vertical scale. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. There's nothing affecting there. All right, well, you know what? We can we can just position things manually then. This is like not how you're supposed to do computer graphics, but we can just position position things manually. Uh, draw sprite. Stretch the width can be uh, multiplied by uh, divided by four. Um, draw sprite extended for the background, and the x scale can be one quarter. The y scale can be one quarter. No rotation. Blended with white and at full alpha. The positioning, I'll worry about the positioning later. Um, let's do the same. I'm gonna, instead of dividing by four everywhere, let's multiply by a, 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 a um, scale value. Like that. And that, and that. Are the warnings gone? The warnings are gone. Uh, if I that way in the future, if I want to um, do something with uh, change the scale further, I can I can do that without too much trouble. All right. Hopefully that does that did shrink them down. Not the way I wanted to though. It doesn't look bad, but hmm. Like this is all happening relative to the uh, relative to the size of the fill health bar spread itself. It shouldn't be any there shouldn't be any funny business going on with things being stretched in weird ways. Is that just because the health bar itself looks bad? I mean, the health bar itself does kind of look bad, but my old nemesis, the nine slices. Okay, they're being sliced wrong. Um, let's drag these over. I suddenly, I'm not used to having to worry about this, and I'm suddenly having to worry about the way that nine slices are drawn. Um, that's fine. I hope this isn't turning out to be an issue with the way that Game Maker internally batches them. Again, as I've mentioned, can be, can be something that happens, but I guess if, I guess if there's a problem with this, I can just simplify the way that the, uh, I can just simplify the, the designs, but I hope I don't have to. Let's start by let's start by disabling the nine slice on on the health bar. That should at least at least look the way I want it to. Alright, so that's that more or less looks the way I want it to. And instead of fighting with it, uh, it may just be better to redesign this once again. Let's not bother this time with uh with the fancy the fancy edges. Um Gonna fill you in with that. Uh, grab the green real quick. Fill that, fill that bar in completely and just make you a nice, boring, plain rectangle. And then you should be uh, sliced um, at least nicer than before. I make the border one pixel later instead of, uh, instead of two if, if it needs be. And we're not drawing it. Stop commenting out your code. I wonder what this video is going to be cut down to. I don't want to split this up because it's a simple subject that you would think would be quick. And we are, uh, okay, you know what? Let's not slice that either. Let's just, let's just make this like full, full green. All right. Maybe, maybe some other day I can, uh, I can worry about drawing them in, in like a nice artistic way or something. But for now, rectangular health bars will do. They're, they're misaligned. Why are you misaligned? Don't tell me the draw sprite stretch doesn't take the sprite origin into account when you're, um, 
when you're drawing a regular sprite, but it does take it into account when you're drawing a nine slice, because that would just be, wow, that's the issue. That's extremely weird. That's inconsistent behavior in Game Maker. I kind of feel like I should report, report that as a bug, but that is something for future me to do. So instead we will, we will uh, compensate the uh, offsets and draw sprite stretched uh, ourselves. We don't need this offset anymore now, do we? Boy, oh boy, this video is a mess. It's not like it's been a lot of it's been a lot of tiny messes. It hasn't been any any big mess. It's been a lot of tiny messes. Uh, let me build one of those and not bug sprays. That's good enough though. That's a health bar, and they no longer look extremely pixelated the way they the way they did before. If I want to, I could increase the size further. Um, that's a telephone. Please shut up, telephone. I can uh, make these smaller instead of 64 by 64 and deal with the outlines later. My standards, my standards are just going down and down the longer this video progresses. Um, it's another one. Lastly, Kind of giving up on video length here. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That should be uh, that should be smaller and uh, reasonably close together, I think. There is a uh, there is an extension for Game Maker called GM Live, which allows you to basically have the game update the code on the fly, and I do like using it for um. For designing user interface things, I would totally be using it now if not for the fact that it's a let me squish them together a little more horizontally. That it's a paid asset, and since this code is just freely available, I, I don't want to include that in the project um, and accidentally like give away a, a paid asset for free because that would not be very nice. I guess I could get ignore it, but that would um. Leaving it in the code without actually having it in included in the project could cause cause issues for people who uh oh, I can I can I can build fire for for people who who want to run it without having access to it and and that's just a big mess that I don't want to get into. I need uh, fifteen more gold gold and then I, and then I can build a a fire tower or a poison tower or something and see what it looks like when I stack these statuses together. Okay, you know what? This is just not working. Let me try that again. Not a winning strategy. Look at those health bars go. That, that looks really cool when, when a bunch of things, when a bunch of aphids or whatever walk through a, uh, walk through a, a cloud at, at once. All right. So if I want to see all the statuses at the same time, that is too far away, apparently. Let me build another one that's a little closer. There you go. All three statuses at the same time. That looks fine. All right. I have no complaints about that other than the fact that the pixel art is awful. Uh, I am going to watch those things get through because they have too much HP and I cannot burn them fast enough. And uh, end this off here. So, my name is Michael. This has been Making a Tower Defense Game and the Game Maker in 3D. It's been fun. I, it's, it's also been full of bugs in more ways than one. If you want the code for this, look for a GitHub repository down in the video description. It appears that I died. Uh, next time, I will probably be, be working on game balance. I've been putting that off for like a, a long time now because it's going to involve a lot of math and I'm going to have to actually like try and prepare ahead of time. Otherwise, I try to post about two game dev videos a week, one of these and one tutorial tutorial. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute towards these videos being made, there are links to that in all the usual places. I hope you all enjoyed that and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Kiara Elizabeth, David Key, Edward Holt, Emily Koyo, Posho, and Zenith for supporting these videos. If you want your name in the credits or to hear yourself shouted out at the end, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.